Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. I've got so many makeup dupes. I actually think this is gonna to have to become two videos, which is really shocking. And I know it sounds like I'm teasing you to carry on watching, but I've basically spent about a day and a half sorting these out. And there's just been this democratization of makeup that leaves skincare in the dust. And it's just so obvious when brands are being inspired by copying other brands. You know, there are really big successful brands out there and Charlotte Tilbury is a perfect case in point. Um, Urban Decay. I mean, there are so many amazing makeup brands out there that it's not really surprising that the smaller brands or even the larger brands are gunning for a piece of their market. And I'm not quite sure how the conversation goes at the really big makeup companies and the really big makeup factories, but I'm pretty, much, pretty sure it goes along the lines of, you know, we really like this. Could you do a cheaper version for like a tenth of the price, half the price, a third of the price? Anyway, there have been so many to go through that I think this might actually become two videos. So let's dive straight in and have a look at some makeup dupes, shall we? They're all behind me because there are literally so many. Let's start with one of the hottest makeup ranges around at the moment. This is Huda. I always love it when all those amazing vloggers and bloggers and Instagrammers hold the palette up in front of their eyes and it looks like their face. I wish I looked like Huda, let's be honest. She's got this really beautiful 3D highlighter palette. I mean, it's stonkingly beautiful. It's, it's not subtle, trust me, but it is really lovely. And it is 40 pounds, so that's 10 pound per palette, but they're good sizes. I mean, you'd have to be pretty much addicted to highlighting to buy that, but I know a lot of girls are. But oh my goodness, have you sound it? seen this? This is the L'Oreal Glow Kit. Now this has got um, five shadows in it, and they are of a similar shade palette. If I wait there, then this will focus in, I hope. Let's hold them up next to each other. They're, they're really flattering, beautiful, peachy, there you go, that's better. Peachy shades, but see that? There's a couple that are really strong dupes. The L'Oreal one is called L'Oreal Glow. It's 12 99 for five. Once it's on your face, can really anybody tell any difference? I mean, obviously, if money was no object, who wouldn't want to look like that? Right, let me put that down there. Do you know what? I've got a whole, you should see what's down here. I've got a whole carrier bag of lip products that I'm just not gonna get round to today. So, um, matte lips, lip liners, nude lip liners, and lipsticks that I'm gonna do a whole separate video on because there are just so many of them. Talking of palettes, should we talk about nude palettes? I mean, obviously, I'm completely addicted to nude palettes. I really love a nude palette. Let's start with this. This always really uh, catches my attention. Something like the Buxom. That's the Suede Silhouette nude palette. It's really beautiful. I mean, it's so me. Look at them. I'm so old school, Bobby Brown, really. Look at those. This has obviously been inspired by something like a MAC or a nude um, or a, or a Bobbi Brown palette. Love it that is. palette, it's 36 pounds. Um, so that's got six shades in it, but dig a little deeper. <gasps> I mean, we're back to L'Oreal Paris here as well. Look at that, that's 12 neutral shades. I mean, they're not that much smaller in the pan either, look. I mean, that's really lovely, really beautiful. The uh, L'Oreal Paris one is $11.99, and then Nip Fab have got one as well. They're all really beautiful, classic matte contouring, eye contouring shades. The Nip Fab one is $12.95. There are a lot of beautiful nude eyeshadow palettes out there at the moment, but once it's on your eyes, would anybody really tell? I've tested all of these. The Nip Fab one's actually got some soft shimmer down the outside, which is why it's got more products in it. That's the best value for money in terms of the amount of colours you get. Although I have to say, that's absolutely beautiful as well. So that one's all 
um, mattes and those ones obviously because they've got more shades have got exactly the same amount of mattes but with the addition of a bit of extra shimmer as well I mean just such great value for money honestly basically makeup what has happened to makeup now is what's happened to fashion if you go into somewhere like Topshop or Zara let's be honest inspired by designer brands right um let's have a look at <laughs> now i'll put the link below to a, a video that i did with charlotte tilbury where she introduces her hollywood collection we did it i did it as a favor to charlotte because i adore charlotte obviously um and she used this product on me and this is her let me get it out and show you it's her contour wand so essentially what it is is you turn it on and then you squeeze and what comes out I'm sorry, I've squeezed far too much obviously is a cream contour product and she used it under here under here and around the outside of my face there you go Charlotte Tilbury actually it teams with a highlighting wand for people that prefer non powder contour highlighter <gasps> Look what Beauty Pie have done. I said it before, I'll say it again. How can you mention Beauty Dukes without mentioning Beauty Pie? Does that look shockingly familiar? That's my stomach rumbling. Uh, does that look shockingly familiar? Open, twist. I love Charlotte. What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? You're not telling me that they didn't go in and say, can you create that for me? Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Lights, so she does a Beauty Lights, which is the highlighter one and contour. They're both £29 each. The Beauty Pie one is £3.99, if you remember. Very similar colours. The Charlotte Tilbury one is very slightly darker, but exactly the same consistency, exactly the same applicator it's funny isn't it when it's a friend of mine i always feel like it's really unfair that she's being copied i mean <sighs> imitation is the sincerest form of flattery right and you know that charlotte will be on to the next newer better more amazing thing in, in a minute but i kind of do like it when the smaller brands take down the big brands uh just maybe not when it's my friend let's have a look at this have you heard of liqueur La Cura, 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 is the makeup range from Aldi. I don't even have an Aldi near me where I live. But oh my God, if they did, if, if I did, I'd live in there, I think. So what you've got is a set of three CC color correcting sticks. There's um, an anti-redness one for noses, broken veins, whatever. An anti-dark circles one. So because the, the sort of pinky shade um, counteracts the purple of the eye and a concealer one. There you go. They are 4 99 for three. If I tell you Max Factor sell these separately for 9 99 each, I think Max Factor have five or six shades. So they have, obviously, you get a much greater range of shades the more money you pay. 4 99 for three, Max Factor do them for 9 99 Per single one. In fact, L'Oreal Paris, I think, used to do actually a gift set that looked almost identically to that, but I think they've replaced them with powders now. I think you might still be able to find them somewhere in a discount bin or on Amazon or something. But $4.99 for a set of three as opposed to $9.99 for each one. I have to say, honestly, hand on heart, I always have a problem with colour correcting products. I always think you end up with a sort of purple stroke green tinge to your skin, unless you're very, very skilled at applying them. Let's talk mascaras. God, I love my mascaras. Look how much eyeliner and mascara I've got. I'm actually going to a movie premiere tonight. That's why I've got so much makeup on. Let's start with uh, Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. It's actually, to be honest, to, it's even too much va va voom for me. When I've seen professional makeup artists using it, including Charlotte, she pulls it out and wipes the, the wand off because obviously that's what professional makeup artists do to get control. It's a real full on, it almost hasn't got the little plug inside that cleans the brush out. I mean, it's a full on, let me put it in front of my eyes there, massive va va voom spiral brush. And trust me, you need to comb through your lashes afterwards. 
Uh, the legendary lashes is, I know it's right at the top, I've got all my prices here, £25. But this is the cult product at the moment. This is L'Oreal Paris Paradise Lash and that is eleven ninety nine. Virtually an identical brush. Gives virtually an identical finish. In fact, to be honest, that gives you slightly less product, probably because they've put less product in it, slightly less product on the brush, so it's easier to control. Um, way to go to also almost copy the gold packaging. Now, Beauty Pie have uh, got a range of mascaras. My favorite is the Uber Volume, which has got a brush like that. And the Beauty Pie Uber Volume for members is two pounds and two pence which I think pretty much, and now this is my miniature because I've got my main one upstairs, is a dupe of IT um, It Cosmetics Superhero. Obviously that's a miniature, but that shows you the brush. Let me hold it next to it. There you go, there are the brushes. Very, very, very similar. You do know, by the way, as a beauty insider, it's not really, unless you're buying a specific waterproof formulation or a formulation that comes off in tubes, uh, it's never really about the product. It's always about the brush and how much product gets on the brush. There you go. My mascara dupes, pretty much. I, to be honest, I'd be happy using any of those, but then I do like a full on, quite heavy, over the top, false eyelash effect eyelash. I'm just throwing them down there. <laughs> Honestly, people come into my house and it's like Christmas. I can't wait to get into my cupboards. Let's have a look what else I got. Let's talk Cover FX Cult um, Custom Enhancer Drops. They have uh, a range, there are nine in the shades. I think they're 34 pounds each. They have a range of liquid highlighters, which you can either add to a foundation or you can apply directly onto your skin. And they are really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful products. I mean, Cover X is such a gorgeous um, range of, I mean, and technically a professional makeup range but um, so popular now, it's available in Space NK. And I mean, that gives you that. I have to say, personally, I do really love a liquid highlighter. You put a bit much on, a bit more on my hand there. Um, I mean, look at that. Is that just beautiful? Really beautiful. Anyway, Nine Shades, that one is Candlelight, which I really like, which is a bit sort of bronzy. And Beauty Pie again. Hello, Beauty Pie. Beauty Pie, I've only got one shade, but it's the closest I can find to the Candle Glow. In fact, it is very slightly lighter. It is lighter, look at that. It's more of a soft, shimmery color. The Beauty Pie one is 434, obviously, quite expensive for beauty pie. Obviously these products are obviously quite expensive to produce. Um, so that, the um, cover FX is the darker shade, the beauty shade, beauty pie is in the middle. L'Oreal Paris do one for 9.99 called Glow Drops, which is the super light color on the other side. There you go. But basically what they're all doing is imitating L'Oreal Paris, Cover FX, Beauty Pie. They're all imitating the nine shades that Cover FX has. So £34 for Cover FX, £4.34 for Beauty Pie, £9.99 for L'Oreal Paris. You know they're all based in silicon, so they give that slightly sort of squeaky feeling once they're, you feel it between your hands more than you feel it on your face, but obviously they look absolutely beautiful around here. And if you have really beautiful, young, flawless, skin you can actually add them to your foundation again which is the advantage of a liquid over a powder obviously i'm going to put them down there let's have a look what have we got left we're fast running out now i want to show you these little things um do you know what this is such a great range of makeup this is collection which is available from boots and Superdrug, so it's available from drug stores do these look familiar to you? <laughs> uh, let me find the prices of them. Uh, these are Collection Precision Contouring Sticks. Crayons. I think they call them sticks, don't they? They just call them Precision Contouring. They're £3.99 each. Look at that. Does that look familiar to you? Let's put them on my arm. 
$3.99. They come in a range of shades to shoot, suit most skin colours. I don't have them with me, but obviously they were inspired by Clinique Chubby Sticks. And Clinique Chubby Sticks, the contouring ones, are $19.50. $3.99 versus $19.50. I'll let you make up your mind which one you decide to buy. And now I'm going to finish with the hottest palette of the moment. It's not a direct dupe. I had to find something if you wanted to recreate Urban Decay Naked Heat. That You know that Brick Dust Eye that Pixie Woo have done recently? It looks so beautiful on them. Who'd have thought that a sort of ready rusty eye would be so sexy and so hot but it's without a doubt the hottest look of the season that palette is 39.50 which i still think is pretty good value for money to be honest and i'm i'm biased i just love all of the naked palettes it's not a direct you i know but if you want to recreate that brick red eye look for the party season coming up then look for pure this is quick pro they have these little double kits which are on the go palettes for 15 pounds and half of them are lips and half of them are eyes okay so i could quickly show you the lips that's in this kit here um i could if i opened it the right way obviously now that's obviously irrelevant but you do get a really lovely collection of eight lip colors but this is the bit I want you to see. So this is the Night Fantasy Mini Eye Palette. And it's got that brick dust, khaki brown, and a little hint of pink in it. If you want to recreate that look at a fraction of the price, and you also get a lip palette as well. It's not ideal, but trust me, I'm sure somebody's working on an inspired by Naked Heat palette. Let's finish with a gorgeous smoky eye palette. Okay, this is Rodial Smoky Eye Sculpt Eyeshadow Palette. Really beautiful, six shades from matte with one shimmer one in it. And I'm just gonna find it here now. Where is it? Uh, it's 35 pounds. That is for, no, uh, for six colors. But let's do the Eyes Uncovered from Collection again. This is their bronze palette. I mean, if I, if I put them next to each other, it's really hard to tell the difference, apart from when you go to pay, obviously. Now, these are not exact colour matches, but you can get exact colour matches. They're even the same size pans, look. One's in cardboard, one's in a black, um, matte, rubberized sort of plastic. So the collection eyes uncovered is $3.99 and they do a range of shades and the Rodeal one is 35 Next time I do it, all the dupes, I'm going to do lips because lips is such a huge category now and I've got um, lip correcting pencils, I've got um, nude lip liners, I've got creamy lip colours and I've got matte lip, liquid lips so sort of Kylie Jenner alike products. There you go, that was my beauty dupes, my makeup dupes for this week. I'm going to do lips, I promise, in a couple of weeks time. I've actually got to do antioxidants first because people keep nagging me for it, so the antioxidant serums. Those products were from 3.99 right the way up to 40 pounds. Yes, 39.50. See, if you just shop around, well, I'll do the shopping for you, you can find great high street dupes for all of those products out there. Eventually that technology does trickle down onto the high street. And I guess Beauty Pie always, as always, if you're prepared to join, come out tops of the beauty dupes. I'm looking at all my prices down here. It's not that I'm not looking at you. It's just that I'm looking down there at all my prices. So there you go. If you've got any beauty dupes that you want me to talk about, I'm definitely going to do uh, lips in a few weeks time. Let me know any other beauty dupes you want to share with everybody else because you're also great and you share information and advice, let me know before. I will put all the prices and all the stockists of everything. And if you can go down to Aldi, I suggest you check out their liqueur range.